What's going on guys, it's me Victor back again and welcome back to my garage. On this video I'll be showing you guys how to install a AEM Y-Band on this uh, 95 Civic. It's really really simple, so this is going to be a short video. So um, I'll take you guys uh, almost step by step how to do it. Um, it's so simple that it takes no time to do it. Um, it took me more time to run things around than um, than just hooking the Y-Band on the car. So stay tuned. I'll be showing you guys how to install a Y-Band. If you see right here, this is the Y-Band sensor. So it's gonna go through here, through there, and to that, this little grommet, to that grommet right there. So then it's gonna go inside the car. Long, it's coming along pretty good. So I'm gonna start uh, installing the, uh, the Y-Band um, harness. So I pull out the grommet and as you can see, you can see part of the, uh, uh, what is it called? Firewall foam on the back. So it already has, it already has like a, a slit, um, the cross slit. So um, you can put a harness through there. So pretty much what I'm going to do with this uh, the plug is I'm gonna cut a circle. Uh, either cut a circle or just split it and then uh, uh, grab the harness, this part of the harness, and, and feed it through all the way to wherever I'm gonna install the Y band. So that should be nice and simple. And there we have it. Um, I put a uh, three zip ties, one here and there, there, and then I feed the, uh, the wire harness through the grommet. Nice and clean and simple. Yeah, that'll work. Yeah, it looks pretty clean. From there, underneath, and then the connectors right here, pinched with uh, this metal piece from this bracket. So that came out perfect. So I ran the uh, wide band sensor through that um, grommet on the on the firewall. So then I am running both of the lines. Uh, not the line, but the uh, harness through here. And the uh, place that I uh, opt to put the uh, sensors, like right here. Nice and sleeper. There. These white bands are they're really, really simple to install. It's just uh, power and ground, and then uh, the two connector behind the uh, Y band, and then just run your cables um, however you want it, and install the sensor on the uh, on the uh, on the pipe, and that's about it. So let me show you real quick. That's it. Power and ground. That's it. Nice and simple. Alright guys, over here we have the uh, AM uh, boost gauge. I have never installed one of these. It's going to be my first time. So I would like to take you guys on the, uh, the journey to install it. This is how it looks like. Um, so, let me unbox it real quick. Open it up and all the goodies are in there. So this is uh, pretty straightforward. This is the harness. Um, this connector goes to the uh, um, the pressure sensor, um, boost pressure sensor. This one you connect it to the uh, gauge, and then just uh, the red to a uh, positive 12 volt reference, and then uh, the black one to uh, ground. And these two are an analogs uh, for um, whenever you're data logging and, and all that stuff. So. All these two do not need it, only power and ground. And then this one to the sensor and then that one to the gauge. That's about it. So just looking at the car, um, I think I'm gonna install that sensor right here. I'm going to uh, remove this. Uh, I'm gonna remove that vacuum um, plug and then uh, I'm gonna remove the metal uh, nipple it has right here. And then I'm gonna tap it and then install the pressure sensor right there. Um, and I'm gonna show you guys how to do it 
without getting metal shavings in here. I mean, it's not gonna be a 100%, but to prevent the maximum amount of metal shaving to go inside the intake manifold. Cause uh, the uh, pressure sensor, if you see right here, it comes with the, uh, a fitting and then that fitting you can put on the T and you can uh, cut a line and then uh, splice it from there. So I don't want to do that because I want to have a, through, a true source of uh, pressure on this sensor. So I grab a uh, my uh, uh, vice grips and I just uh, wiggle this nipple around and then I got it off. And then um, you're going to see that... Uh, the sensor is almost the same size, but now I gotta get a tap that is uh, for uh, these type of thread. So I have this on the toolbox over there real quick. I'm gonna get it and then uh, I'm gonna tap that real quick and then continue with this. Here I have the tap. Uh, the part number on this is uh, 1 8 NPT 27. So it's for, uh, you know, um when to use fittings and stuff what i do um to tap on the intake manifold and, and have not have the shavings fall into the uh intake inside so i'm gonna grab a little bit of grease and then i'm gonna grease it up a little bit so all the metal shavings they stay they stay on the on the on the die they stay on uh, on the on the tap so and just like that it's going to uh, when you bring it back they got all of them they're gonna stick to um, right here and you're not gonna have you're gonna have the minimum amount of shavings going inside the uh, intake so now you see all the shavings they're there they got stuck to the tap I just add some Teflon tape and then just Go ahead and install it carefully. I need two hands for this. <laughs> so here I have the uh, sensor installed right there to the intake manifold. I ran the harness to the bottom. Um, here to the firewall, as you can see right there. And then I just uh, zip tied it to the brake lines. Here's the white band also where I, insta uh, where I install it and then uh, had this grommet right here and just cut some slits and install both if you come here inside the car both of the cables they come down there and then i have the all these bunch of cables which i'm gonna hide right here underneath the carpet so um i'm not 100 percent sure where i'm gonna put that boost gauge but i think i'm gonna put it right here for the time being um just because uh, uh we don't have a mount mounting location for it uh and you know i want to I want to keep it hidden 100%. So here I have the Y band in there, and I don't know. I don't know. I don't know all the hiding places because this car, you know, it's a sleeper. So I think right here, I can put it right. There. So I have the boost cage there for the time being, and then uh, oh shit, the Y band not working. Um, I was gonna say, yeah, I'm gonna go out, uh, test drive it real quick. Um, I'm not gonna get onto boost, I just wanna make sure. Um, I mean, I might get into a little bit boost, not a whole lot. Um, but just to see how it runs, uh, before, uh, before the dyno day, gotta make sure everything is working perfect. did 1.2 pounds of boost so there you have it guys i hope you guys enjoyed that video as much as i did uh stay tuned for the next one the next one will be 
getting the car dyno ready uh, to make sure the car it's on 100% whenever we go over there just because we don't have a we don't want to have no issues um, so yeah guys and like always guys like comment subscribe share um, if this video was helpful you know thumbs up until the next one peace out guys